Hello and welcome to another recording for the channel. This will be a quick introduction video into how to mod a Planet Crafter. It is a standalone sort of uh, game, so you, it won't actually be modded through a platform. You have to mod the game file itself. So we'll have a quick look at how to find that. First, we will have to find the file itself where the game file is saved. Go to install files. Uh, this is on Steam, otherwise you'll just go through your um, documents and search it through that way. So you'll go to C, D or E drive, depending on what your main drive is. You can see here I've got uh, the main Planet Crafters under the Steam app, but I think you can actually go user, whatever your name is, and then the Planet Crafter, depending on how you've got your system set up. And as you can see the layout, it's the main game files. Close that off. Um, you want to use Vortex. And go or Vortex or Nexus, they're both the same thing, just different names for the same thing. You can also Google search for this, but I will use the Nexus page. Okay, you can see I've tried to do it before. Okay, so the problem is I cannot find the BIP NX file, it comes up as nothing. So, what I have done is I've found a game that I know has the file connected through it. So I want to look for uh, Valrus. Valrus has the link on his other mods. So you just want to click this, you want to click on down and just randomly download any mod. Now it won't actually start downloading until you've um, closed this off or hit download again. So you just want to go to the bit in X file. You want to go to the top one, just hit manual download. As you can see, I've downloaded it a couple of times, but I'm just doing this as a um, courtesy video. So we'll close that off, but we'll keep this open. Go back one. Okay, so now, oh, got the Planet Crafter. Now you've just downloaded it. So you wanna find the download link. You right click on that, open it in a new window. And as you can see, there it is. What you wanna do is you wanna open this. What you want to do is click all that, drag it over and drop it. As you can see, it's updated. Now, we can close that off. We can close this off. And, we, oops, no, I don't want to close that off. We want to open this. And as you can see, the only thing in there is core. That's the only file. So what we will do is we will go back to uh, Steam. So whatever... Whichever platform you have it, or if it's not on a platform, it's just a standalone game, you just want to play that. Hit play. Now, all you have to do is wait for the game to load. Okay, so uh, this could take a minute or two. I'm just going to skip forward to this point. So what you want to do is quit out. You don't start a new game. You quit right out. Back to the main um, page. And if you go back to the Planet Crafter uh, page here, where it says the BIP index, where it just had core, it's now downloaded all the other software required. Now the only thing you need to do now is add your mods. You go to plugins, you don't touch any of the others, you go to plugins. What you want to do is you want to go back to the Vortex page, wherever that happens to be, and let's go back to the main page. And you can see I've downloaded a couple. So basically what you want to do is, I'll just find a quick uh, one I'll, this one I don't really care for, but it's, it's there as a demo so what you want to do is you want to go to the files again you don't mod manage you every single file you download should be a manual download it's it's done let's click on that to get the um, page up so get rid of that you want to go to your plugins page you want to open this you want to drag that across it's that simple now, you don't have to do it for every single individual mod, but every single time you, you add a mod to this, you've got to do the startup, um, close down, and then start up again. So I am just going to, I'm going to just drag over all the other files I have. So I'll show you what I've done already. You saw those all those mods had been um, downloaded, but there's nothing in here. So what I've done is the Planet Craft. So all these DLLs, 
I've um, copied the downloads and dragged them over to a new file so I can always keep them. What I've done is I've done all these new, uh, all these other DLLs. Let's drag them over. Close that off. Close that off. Close that off. So nothing else needs to be open at this point. All you have to do is play the game. Okay, so once again, once you get to this scene, uh, screen, you don't play, you quit back out. What this will do is in the uh, game file, as my understanding, um, so in this particular file, the bit file, anything like all these other things that updated in here, so it was just the core, but all these other things updated, um, that just helps load in any secondary programs that are required apart from the DLL. So it might upgrade some of these sort of files. So you just want to do that once, and then it's a matter of playing the game. So I'll just start up a game and show you what some of the mods actually do to show you uh, exactly the, um, the what, what you're in for. Okay, so now that the game is loaded, you will actually hmm, not play. Sorry, I want to go back. I want to go to options. So one of the mods I should have shown you before, mod config. So I'll just type in mod and see what happens up here. Mod config menu, okay. So this one will actually add this option here. So what this option does, it will show you all the mods you have active at the moment. So as you can see, you just scroll down Okay, so this helps you change options within the mod. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take make this down to one so that I can show you exactly what it does. Uh, and you can see you can just adjust all these different features as you see fit. And as we go through the uh, startup of the game, I'll show you what some of these things do. Okay, so we will play a new game. Create that. Standard load. Okay, so, okay, we'll go back in. So, as you can see in the top left, it just gives you a rough idea of what you've got to do. Um, you've got information here. I won't go through gameplay with you. I just like, like letting you know what basic uh, things. You've got storage. You've got a crafting station. Now, what you need to do with these mods is options, mods. So, the auto grab, auto mine. So we'll just go back into the game and I'll show you. So you want to run out, you want to collect. So that's left clicking the mouse button. Go back in, get some oxygen so we don't die. So what you can do, I'll see. Okay, we'll look over in this direction. You can see there's a whole heap of resources. A whole heap of resources all around. So what we'll do is no, we'll change the option here. So the range at which this auto grabs things is uh, 20, a distance of 20 um, sectors, whatever that is, happens to be 20 meters or whatever. So what I'll do is I will apply that, resume, and I'll just walk towards stuff. Come on, three seconds. I did adjust it, didn't I? Option 20, apply. Oh, I don't have the chip on me yet. I have to build the chip first, I think. No, I don't need to build a chip. This is weird. It should have activated. Uh, options. Let's just extend that then. Apply. Resume. That's weird. It's not working. Options. I have to activate something. Enable. Oh, sorry, that's right. I have to activate it. So, to activate it, you hit V. Okay, that should have all disappeared. <laughs> I'm, really I'm really confused as to what's going on here. 
Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah, sorry. I've got the auto stacking mod as well, so I'll just adjust that. Auto store. Craft inventory. Okay, so the inventory is at 10. Oh, sorry, at base game is zero. It's just one of each. That's where you, you can get uh, 12 items and that's it. I've got 120 on me at the moment. With this option, uh, this mod option, I can actually say I want 100 or 1,000 items stacked. So let's go back and have a look. And as you can see, I've just picked up all those resources. They've all disappeared now because I've picked them up automatically. If I go to my backpack, you can see I've got a couple of hundred. So the way I had 10 and 10 iron, I've got now I've got 328 iron in one stack if I can get up to a thousand. So that's how the auto grabber and the auto stacker works. Uh, let's have a look at some other mod options you can try. Okay, go back to the top. Okay, so your basic range is 20. Every three seconds it will do this. Now, there's two things you've got to um, remember with these mods. The larger the range, the more this game's going to lag because the, you, it will actually start to grab resources outside of the um, the visual range. So it's going to lag the more uh, the more you want to collect in one go. And also with the stacker, the more the more stuff you got stacked, the more the game's going to lag because it's got to render those resources basically. Okay, this is a later game, uh, later in game uh, mod, so I won't be able to show you anything with that. Auto store. So with auto store, any crate within 20 meters that have items in them. Uh, this is not a game. This is not a um, in-game crate. This is a different type of crate. You've got to actually build one. Okay. With Q, you want to build one of these. I'll just build a couple here and do this. Now, your basic game uh, crate will not have this black screen on it. This is a mod as well. So what this mod actually does with um, extra uh, storage options is it adds a name to the very first thing you put in there. So if I put in an iron, it's not going to show an iron. It'll show the very first thing you put in there. So if I take the cobalt out, the only thing in there is an iron, but the first thing was a cobalt. So you can actually change this if you wish, but I'm just doing this for um, uh, mod showing purposes. Okay, so as you can see with this, I've got uh, cobalt and iron in there, and I've got space food in there. In this one, I've got nothing. So you can see I've got cobalt, iron, and space food. So when I hit K, bit of a lag because it has to transport the item. All the space food's gone, all the iron and cobalt is gone. Now, if I have silicon and take that out, so the crate's empty, and I hit K, nothing will move because there's nothing in this crate for the auto sorter to add to. So you need, you need to actually have at least one item in there and hit K. As you can see, it's a tiny bit of a lag, but there's like only hundreds of items, not thousands. And as you can see, that adds. Now, let's go to the mods. Okay, so I've shown you this the storage displays, which is the screen. I haven't got the other ones to show you the holographic. Jetpack, I haven't got that this later game. Grid snap. Okay, so let's show you. Okay, so with grid snap, so you want to build something. You can't build in particular aisle items because you can't build into the ground. You have to build above it. But if you go back to uh, options and go to grid snap and you want to um, have a col have the collision turned off. We will, whoop, we will do this again, and as you can see, you can build into the ground. Now you wouldn't want to do this. You would really want to. You, you can see that it's actually got a bit of a grid snap, so you can actually still grid snap. That's why you don't want to. You can't even get in there. So you want to try to avoid that. But that is basically. What, what the grid snapping is. Now you can't, as you can see it snaps in there, but you can't actually build it into itself or overlapping. That's where it's, uh, it works pretty well with the grid snapping, but you can actually 
Let's have a look. There you go, see that? You can build in there. Oop. Let's get some oxygen. Uh, let's collect that iron back out. Getting up. No, I didn't get any iron. Okay. Oh, there's no iron in there. It's down here, isn't it? Yep, there we go. Let's get the iron out. So you can get into the crate. And you can get into the crate. So that's how that works. That's, um... You don't want to have the collision off because you can have a lot of buggy problems if you do that. And I'm full. So they're the basic mods, uh, uh, basic how to use the mods and how to download them. Oh, here we are. So for every single mod you download, you have to go to manual, go to your download folder, find the DLL file. Let's see. Um, download. Go uh, open, open with whatever uh, zip file opener you've got. Go to the archive. And you just want to get that DLL file from the other mod. Once you've got that, you dump it into the BMX uh, plugin, the plugins file. So you want to get all the DLLs into here. Once you've downloaded the DLLs, you start up the game. Don't play it. You shut it down. And then once that's done, you can start playing. And that's pretty much how you mod the game. Um, hope, hopefully this is helpful for you. I found it helpful. Um, someone did a, uh, written down a step-by-step -step instruction on how to do it. And I hope this helps you. Thank you. Bye.